What's up YouTube? Troublesome here. Just wanted to give this a little uh, precursor on the video and get ready to upload. Um, frame rate's terrible. Not really sure why. Just I'm new to YouTube. Trying to get the f screen capture, um, everything worked out. Not really sure why it's so terribly slow, but it is. It's not in gameplay, so I'm going to work on that. Also, my microphone's awful. I'm using a webcam because I didn't get an amplifier for the uh, nice uh, condenser mic that I ordered because I'm an idiot. Anyway, first video, bear with it. Super long. I talk the whole time. Gonna gonna start trimming these down. I gotta set a stopwatch on them. Uh, anyway, so here's uh, my first Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video. I hope you guys enjoy. Hi, what's up, YouTube? I am troublesome low res. Starting a new channel, gaming channel. Um, today I'm playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Just uh, uh, that Jeep DLC dropped to yesterday or something, but I don't have it yet. But I do see the off-road track, and I'm going to get it. So what I'm playing with here is I'm just going to do a restore or a restoration on a car. Um, one of the reasons I started this channel is because I notice a lot of guys playing these sim games and I love them I love watching them but a lot of them don't know much about what they're doing and what they're uh, working on I've got pretty fairly extensive background in mechanical maintenance and cars and things like that and um, not much background in gaming I've only been playing games on computers for about a month I built a rig it's a low-budget rig. There's an Impala, 66 Impala, but it's called a Cape on here. Anyway, I built a low-budget rig um, and wanted to give it a whirl because I watch YouTube videos. I really like, and I really like watching these guys work, you know, play these games and stuff. So, anyway, here we are. Um, so, what we're going to do today is I am going to. I bought two of these. I didn't realize there were two different versions. One's an inline six. And one is a V8. I bought two of these before I had body repairing capabilities on this game a while back. And, um, well, with intentions of restoring them. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and move this one to the garage. Return. So, um, looking for any kind of feedback possible. Right now, I bought a nice microphone, condenser mic and an arm suspension arm with a pop filter and all that and then realized after I got here that the computer doesn't have quite enough power to sound it so I had to use an old webcam uh, just to get started so you probably hear every mouse click every everything right now and I do apologize for that it's gonna get better I promise I gotta order an Amazon I'm an Amazon Prime member so I gotta order an amp on uh, Monday it's Saturday right now and once I order that amp and get that sucker hooked up I should have some nice clean sound so being is that I'm new er to gaming um, and I'm doing a low budget deal right now just because I, I don't really want to dump a whole lot of money into it if I don't know if I'm gonna stick with it or not excuse me um, I'm on some, a cheap mouse cheap keyboard doing this on my TV Maybe later on in the video I'll tell you what exactly my rig is. I actually just looked up, you know, I googled, uh, or, or actually on YouTube I looked up low budget gaming 2017, compute PC or something along those lines. So that's kind of how I built the rig that I've got. Um, and I just realized for the first time how hard it is to talk and concentrate on what you're doing on this game. Some of those guys are really good at it. So, we're going to start ripping this bad boy apart. Uh, being that I'm new to gaming, by the way, I don't even know if I finished that thought. My mouse movements and things like that are spasmatic. Um, hopefully I'll get smoother at it if it is completely um, puke-inducing. Let me know in the comments. And um, I'll work on it. I might have to turn my speed down or stop being a spaz. I don't really know. So, we're going to park this back suspension. 
I'm probably going to do some constructive editing here to make this process a little bit faster. I just like this old, it's like a Camaro. I'm not sure what they call it on the game. Um, Car Mechanic Simulator, I've been playing for a few weeks now. It's such a cool game. The biggest problem I have with it is some of the ridiculous lack of accuracy. Now, I'm not a developer. Not even, I don't even know, I wouldn't even know where to start with game development so I can't really criticize a whole lot but I know that this game's been around for a long time because I've watched videos of older versions I'm not really sure I haven't watched enough of them because I really kinda got into it on 2018 not really sure what all they did different on this game but it leaves something to be desired as far as working on vehicles goes one thing that is nice it's not real not a real world thing is these bolts break right loose, man. You don't have to fight them or anything. It's freaking awesome. Um, they don't do that in real life. Another thing that's great about this is you can tell if a part's bad just if it's rusty. Which is another great thing because not in real life. Sometimes there'll be something in the inside of a bearing or bushing or something you can't see or a snap bolt that you can't get your eyeballs on. Um... Lots and lots of possibilities beyond something just having some rust on it. I do like how they did it here. It gives us a good way to scale the repair, I guess, whenever you're doing the repairs on stuff. Some things I don't understand, like why you can re repair a brake shoe, but not a fuel tank. Uh, because I've repaired more fuel tanks than I have brake shoes. I can promise you that. I digress. So, back a strip. Let's go up front. Yank this thing out. Another thing I've noticed on other guys' channels, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to badmouth anybody, but it's just a personal preference of flavor. A lot of these guys don't know how to dress a vehicle with, uh, you know, and one thing that Car Mechanic Simulator 18 lacks is customization. I mean, you can do silly wheels and stuff, and some, and some sticker jobs. Which still, I still don't know if it's called liveries or liveries, but anyway, you can do stuff like that on here, but you really can't, you can't really tune suspension, lower suspension. It'd be nice if you could take some old leaf spring truck and turn it into a independent rear suspension, you know, masterpiece like that. I don't know if there is a game like that out there or not. If there is, comment below and let me know, because I, man, I'd die for it. Well, no, I wouldn't go that far. But I'd tear it up, man. I'd eat it up. Now, I know you can do, you know, mild modifying on, some of the older driver games, I'm sure you can on some of the newer ones. Mid, I think Midnight Club had some pretty cool mods. You could do modifications on vehicles, but obviously you couldn't change out control arms and stuff. It'd be so neat, I think, if you could dig into these cars, man. Take these old stamped steel parts off of it and put tubular A-arms on it and things like that. Now that would just be dope. Not the case. So, here we are. Taking the same four cross members out of 80 different cars and putting the same two radiators back in 80 different cars no hoses no hose connections no vacuum lines none of that stuff to mess with i don't know if that's good or bad you know so you know i think it leaves something to be desired back to what i said earlier man i've never developed a game there's no telling how freaking hard it is to make one of these games i do remember when this game came out watching a lot of YouTubers and how much they were having problems with the, uh, well, it was just a glitchy, buggy mess. And it still has some silliness in it, but it's it's not terrible. I think one of the biggest pet peeves I had was that the the bolts on the, uh, the lug nuts on the one side, except it's not nuts, it's actual bolts, on one side of the car would turn the wrong way to loosen them. They would go tight tidy righty tidy to loosen them uh, just because they mirror the mechanics from the opposite side so I guess the I don't know the image however that works they mirrored it from the opposite side so it looked stupid turning it the wrong way on the wrong side now if it would have been a knockoff style wheel the passenger side it's the passenger driver I don't remember one side of a knockoff uh, wheel is a a reverse thread but a knockoff is a different animal altogether that's where you have a flange that bolts on 
it's essentially a flange with a threaded nut on it that or the threaded rod that the wheel then slides over and you put one center thing in the middle one center uh, like a giant nut on the middle of it to make it hang on I gotta, I gotta stop a second it, it, it was originated in racing where you could you could get a wheel off super fast super easy it was pretty cool um, and it carried over into industry and some guys use knockoffs they actually um, first time I learned about knockoffs was in high school with lowriders because I was a big lowrider nut still am custom cars I really don't care what it is lifted lowered sport horsepower slow I don't really care just customized cars are cool I do have my preferences but um, anyway knockoffs were they use them on Dayton wire wheels and, and then other knockoff wire wheel companies started using them too All right, I'm gonna take these body pieces off just a little FYI I do have 281,000 hard-earned dollars on this beast that I did earn by myself um, what I didn't earn is those experience points because I got so sick of doing brake jobs and putting new mufflers on that I had to look up how to cheat and so I did so I downloaded this thing called cheat I don't know what it is it's something anyway I downloaded this um, thing cheated myself some XP so I could build up my garage so I could have body fixing capabilities so I could paint cars so I could repair parts better things like that um, don't regret it one bit say what you want I don't care it's my life don't tell me how to live it uh, really don't know how this audio is gonna come out I know you guys can hear every mouse click and keyboard clack and it's terrible terrible but uh, anyway kinda hope to make this somewhat educational along with um, entertaining because these are some entertaining games, man. I'm telling you. Um, currently, I've been <clears throat> working on... What all do I have here? I have... Um, farming Simulator. I've been playing some Farming Simulator. That's really fun. I never thought that a Farming Simulator game could be entertaining. But it is super fun. Farming Simulator... Beam and G is is very neat. Uh, it's kind of pointless. Let's repair that body. It's kind of pointless unless you get into the challenges, but they're super hard if you don't have a wheel set up or anything like that. Uh, playing on a keyboard, man. Woo, that's tough stuff. I've been a you know I, I played console games in the freaking 80s and 90s and haven't really been around them much. Played a little bit of th Xbox 360, but never got into it but, but you know, a keyboard's a different animal and it gives you so much more control over everything but it also makes things super complicated um, alright so there's that we're gonna paint this a different color eventually and we're gonna put some big old rims on it but something tasteful and sporty well as tasteful and sporty as we can get with given the selection that we have because if you've played this game, you and I both know the selection of um, wheels is not great. They're kind of tacky and not a lot of, I don't know, Cree, I don't know. There's just not a lot of variety of taste. In them. But what I do like on cars like this is mega wide in the back. You know, this, this type of car is mega wide tires in the back, mega big low pro tires not a big drag guy although I, I get it I get the merit it has its merit it's, it's enjoyable um, and uh, matching smaller not much smaller but somewhat smaller wheel in the front and um, you know sucked and tucked in and freaking uh, blingy and I like them low I do cars like this man I think they should be low slung let's see what we can fix here on our old repair bench so long story short, I did cheat to get 50k XP because I got to the third stage of um, expanding the garage, and well, I didn't quite make it. And but I was that was next, and I'd had it. This is enough. You gotta grind on this game, boy. You gotta grind. All right. Okay. 
didn't see many failures on that, although I clicked too fast to be able to tell. So it's V8. Another thing I wish you could do on this game is if that freaking manifold, that intake manifold, Just if I could just put something else on it. Let me put the supercharger on whatever I want. If it's a V8 and it's got a manifold, give me a freaking V8. Give me a supercharger manifold, please. Can I have that? Get rid of that because it gets in my way. Anyway, uh, yeah, again, if you've played this game, you know taking these motors apart is freaking tedious. As you can see, I am procrastinating because it, man, it takes a long time, especially with these V8s, the push rods and the cranks or the, uh, the uh, da, 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 rocker arms. The one great thing about it is if, you, if you've ever worked on a, uh, man, if you ever worked on a small block, you know, actually, it doesn't even matter if it's a small block or not. If you've ever worked on an engine, taking the taking the uh, push rods out, it's not. It's it's actually pretty easy. They just slide right out. But whenever you get into the valve springs and the, and the little clips and stuff, man, that is that is rage inducing sometimes. Luckily, on this game, they did not submit us to that. Thank friggin' God. So, rusty carb. Rusty carb. Carbs usually don't get rusty. They usually get gummy and bleh. And, um, rubber rot. Rotor. Tell you one thing I notice on this game that's, um, I don't see a lot of guys doing. And that camera zoom right there kills me too. One thing I, uh, on this game that I don't see a lot of guys doing is line it up when you have these huge arrays of bolts on manifolds, exhaust and intake and taking these head bolts out and the valve covers and the oil pan. They'll sit there over the top of it and you know move the mouse around to each one. If you get in the right line, you can line them all up and just sit there and hold the mouse button. I shall demonstrate shortly. You can just hold that mouse button down man, and rip them bolts out. All right, push rods. Spark them plugs. I'll tell you another thing that kind of, I don't know. Another thing about this game, the um, about the wheels on this game. That old five bolt pattern seems to fit everything, doesn't it? From a friggin' 1950 something Ford truck to a little uh, European four door from the 80s also Mazdas I did get the Mazda and Dodge DLC I personally have a charger um, it's no big fancy charger but I had a 2014 charger in my real life so I was hoping that they would have one on here and they do have chargers but it is not a new one they have old chargers um, as far as new Dodges go I don't know what's on here. I don't know if anything's on here, New Dodge. That Jeep DLC came out, man. I want to want it, want it, want it. I'm a Jeep fan. Spark plug, spark plug, spark plug, spark, spark plug. All right, so watch. Boom. Isn't that the neatest? God, if those were only that easy to take off in real life. Are you with me? Who's with me? Good night. Exhaust manifolds are the worst. Head bolts, also not this easy. Also, no torquing on this game, which is nice. If anybody's ever torqued head bolts, that's not very much fun. Got to do in a pattern. I'll kind of show you when we put them back on here how you kind of do it. I kind of feel like I'm trying to rush to get this over with. Um, Again, this is my first video, so let me know. Critique, critique me. You know, anybody that finally actually do get to watch this, go ahead and send me some criticism. I got pretty broad shoulders. I can take it. Just, just don't call me ugly. I don't like that. But I got pretty broad shoulders. Um, and if you want to see anything else or specific, let me know. Um, obviously, the viewers is what makes the YouTubing worth it the feedback and stuff I think it would be super cool um, hopefully one day I have some followers and 
and can actually, uh, you know, have a better reason to besides just trying to build them. So let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see, what, you know, if I'm going too fast, going too slow, you want me to explain things more, explain things less, shut up, quit bitching, bitch more. Um, because I can adapt. Boy, can I adapt. Spend a little time in the old army. You can't adapt in basic training. You can't adapt, my friend. Clutch plate. Man, that would be super hard to take off in real life. Now, this is one of the parts I hate because the snap to X silly. So we're going to back up. We're going to spin this BI around. You gotta look at the right part of the engine stand to spin it, because you can't just look at any old part. You know what? I'm gonna leave it sideways. All right, out of that, back in to the engine. Now find all the caps that are here. This motor was rotten shot, so I'm probably missing half of this stiff. <clears throat> something else I'm gonna try. You know, this is doesn't really matter, but something else I'm gonna try on this channel is not to cuss. My real life, I do swear. Not a lot, but I do. And, uh, I want a kiddo to be able to watch this if they want to watch this. Maybe they can learn something. Because I am going to try to talk about some of the real life stuff of the sim. Of what you're doing in the sim, I guess. The real life aspects of it. Because there's some great learning tools here, man. I'm telling you, it's just, I wish it was this easy. Sort of. But it's a double whammy because I also wish that this was harder, if that makes sense. Sometimes um, now the valve guide or the valve springs and s seats and valves and spring clips, you can have it. Take it. I don't want it. See that freaking bearing cap? You can have it. Is my cam still in there? It is. All right. Block done naked engine stand let's go let's go bang on this on a workbench with some hammers because that's how it works clip oh yeah fix that fix that fix the intake manifold exhaust manifold that's good head's good i'm really more concerned about the block and the freaking transmission remember the high pricey ones Care about these bearing caps? Crap, I think I just lost a carburetor. Looks like the block made it. Chrome, polish that chrome up with some steel wool. Obnoxious timing cover broken. Oh, fix that. I think I saved that six bucks. Our steering pump. Ooh, baby. Money, money, money. Money, money. Cylinder head. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, here's what I like to do. I will get so much hate for this. I like to just go in here and buy a bunch of crap that I know I'm going to need. Oh, which air filter was it? Was it this one? I know I'm going to need camshaft. No, I don't. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I know. I don't know if this repaired. Don't know if this repaired. Don't know if this repaired. Long hair. Don't care. Here's why. Because it's not that expensive, and it beats the crap out of having to come in here and try to find it. Uh, especially when you're in the groove of reassembling. Front differential, W12. Look at that. That looks like the uh, Jeep stuff. What's got a front differential? Oh, it, that four-wheel drive truck does. Hmm. Huh. I go in here. I buy some calippers maybe a few extras go in here and buy some ventilated discs maybe a few extras this gives me a nice inventory uh, a few drums my point is I don't want to come back in here a hundred times once I get into that groove baby once I get into that reassembling groove I just want to reassemble that's what I want to do I don't want to keep coming to my friggin tablet and using this ridiculously unintuitive search engine and Blah 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 blah. So, a bushings. I love me to buy me some bushings. I know I'm going to need front springs. I know it. I just know it. One, two of them, two of them. I think it's a wishbone style. Don't remember. Don't care. <coughs> 
excuse me, I don't need one of those. I don't have a front wheel drive. I need several of these. Actually, I only need two, but I got several. Front, oh, shocks. See, don't know which one. Don't care. Getting both. See that? Always make money on them anyway. Don't care. Uh, this was a leaf springer in, wasn't it? Uh, might need a solid drive axle. Definitely need bushings. Bushings. I always buy a bunch. These freaking rubber bushings, not the small. The small's for the leaf springs. These rubber bushings are everywhere. And the A-arms, control arms, uppers, lowers, chassis the body, all over rear suspensions whenever they're, um, you know, like that. Uh, wheel burns. Got some wheel burns. Need some burns. Some burn caps. Burn caps. Eight bucks. Ooh, it's going to break the bank. Steering rack, almost always, because the dang things never fix. I don't remember which end link I had, so what the hell. Heck, see, there I go. There I friggin' go. Spring cap. Hub. Hub. Don't think I need that. Don't need. Don't need. Don't need. Don't need. Engine. Here's what I know I need. Plugs. They don't fix. Just get a bunch. I wish I had a shelf just full of them. Eight. Push rods. Rods. Push rods. Ooh, crap. I do not know which one it was. Let's just try this. 16. Two per cylinder. One for intake, one for exhaust. Piston with Conrod, which is short for connecting rod. I don't think I've ever seen Conrod used in my entire life. Ooh, I bet I need a couple of those. Um, until I played this game. Conrod. Been around some gearheads, never heard them called Conrods. Maybe it's just from where I'm from. I don't know. Ring. Piston rings. Eight of them. Up oh, ten, whatever. Eight. Bada boom. Um, I can't remember about these. I don't remember how they were. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these. I'm gonna get some U-bolts. Telling you, man. So I get into that assembly mode. Back up. Clear the way. Um, I lost my train of thought. I was talking about something. Rain. Oh, I need rocker arms. Rocker arms. Sixteen of them too. One, two per cylinder. That is because one opens the exhaust valve on one cycle. One opens the exhaust valve on another cycle. Did I say exhaust and intake? Intake and exhaust. That's how it goes. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. That's how they will roll. I need an air filter, but I don't remember which one this was. It was the big shiny chrome one. Um. Good night. That's a lot of crap. I think it's this one. We're gonna try that one. That's what we're gonna try. Usually, I have about a hundred fuel filters on me, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I was charging the battery. Air filter, oil filter. I bet I need one of them. Um, I don't know which one it was. I'm just going to get every one that possibly could fit it. This one will fit it. And that one will fit it. So two. Two air filters. Alright. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these friggin' front end pieces together. Um, I'm going to think about wheels while I'm doing that, actually. Drunk, drunk, drunk. Here we go. They get out. Mount, 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 mount. Boom. Spring compressor. Never had the privilege of using one of those nice fancy ones like that. Always use something stupid like C clamps or channel locks or zip ties or actually you can go to AutoZone and do a rental thing where they give you a spring compressor that's got some bolts. Use those plenty of times. After I about killed myself with uh, C clamps and vices and all kinds of dumb things, man. I'm telling you. Stupid. It's incredible I'm still alive. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the body back together. Um, and we're going to put some Lorenzos on it. By that, I mean wheels. Um, <clears throat> try to get it looking right. Paint it. And then we'll mess with the engine again. Because I don't want to go through that again just yet. Not ready for it. Not emotionally prepared. So, let's assemble mode. A symbol. Did I not take that fender off? I didn't take that fender off earlier. Hood. Bam. 
bumper bam wrong color no worries no fender got to get new glass wait a minute nope don't have one got to get one what's this thing called let's check it out the bolt roulette Rolet. I wonder if it's Rolet. Hmm. Wonder if it's Rolet. Wonder how fancy we are up in here. I'm gonna go Bolt Rolet. Bolt Atlanta. That must be the last thing I was working on. Bolt. Well, hell. See, there I go again. Maybe that's not a bad word. Maybe it's Christian. For the bad place speaking of the bad place if you haven't seen the good place watch it that is funny bullet what was it called Rolet. roll it hey look at that there I need that fender glass glass don't fix at least I don't know how to if you if, if, if glass is fixable tell me please please tell me his man I spent some money on glass Oh, these, I don't think these fix. I don't think this fixes or that. I don't feel like I got enough glass to cover this whole car, but maybe I did. Missing that fender. Got the mirrors. Methinks that's all me needs. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Like that. There it is. Mismatching. Uh, now it's starting to look like a car. Bada boom. Windshield. Right. Whoops. Rear window. Deck lid. A bonnet, if we're uh, for my fellows overseas. My last name is actually British, so um, I'm not going to disclose it, probably because that'd be weird, but yeah. British. I wish I could do a good British accent because I love it. I love British humor. It's so funny. These are silly. Maybe it's a little bit of an egotistical thing. I don't know. Maybe I think I'm funny. All right, I think I got a back bumper, don't I? That I'm missing here. Am I missing a bumper? I am. No, it's already on there. Did I already do that? Dang! Come on, guys. There. Let's close that. Oh, I, I can't do the wheels because I don't have any suspension. Let me go back. Okay, here we go. We're gonna assemble so I can roll this thing into the paint shop. Mount. Axle. Boom. Fuel tank. Crap! Forgot to buy one. See? See? My feng shui is gone. Leaf spring. Bada boom. Plate. Yes. U bolts. Yes. Uh, by the way, you ever taking U bolts off? from an old truck the worst I got to the point in my life where you know I'm older now I don't really mess with cars as much as like I used to but man I got to a point in my life where I if it involved leaf springs and the dismount of said leaf springs or pulling an axle via U-bolts U-bolts were on the shopping list and the first thing I did Getting under that car, let's hack them friggin' U bolts off of the grinder because that is not worth the bloody knuckles. Let me tell you. Click, click, crank, crank, back up. This camera, just wish I was a little more intuitive. You know, it's a little bit silly. Let's see what else. Oh, I got some brakes. I'm gonna install some brakes. See, all these parts I got. Preemptively, because I knew the time would come. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that? Drum? Drum a drum drum. All right. I'm not going to put the wheel on because I, you suck. Shoot. See what I did? See what I did there? This is what I get for not just zooming on the part. Just a symbol. Hang it off. Bring a symbol. Put a nice freaking shiny one on there. Nice drive axle. And those parts are nice. Um, brakes. What else? Shoes. New. No. See how many freaking drum shoes I got? A lot. All right. Nope. Not gonna do that. But I will put this bushing on. 
because I forget those a lot. Can't believe, can't tell you how many times I've gotten a car done mm -hmm. trying to roll it out of the garage and say, bushing missing. And it's this one or something else, somewhere else. All right, so that'll roll now. Let's assemble this front train wreck. Okay. Yeah, man, I wish you could cut the springs or something just to squat it down. But they really don't have geometry in here, you know. The uh, functional suspension geometry, I don't think it's such a th there is a thing in this game. I think it's all just like... Uh, it's not real. Whereas Creed Bratton says, you're not real, man. It's just not real. It is not. It's just three-dimensional things assigned to other three-dimensional things, and they don't have any kind of motion attached to them. Mechanics. Because if you, if you could even just cut that spring... Uh, this is ghetto, I know, I know. Bear with me. If you could just uh, cut that spring and stick it back in there, you, you could knock ride height off of these when you set it down. And squat it a little bit. But you can't. Because I think it's all preset nonsensical nonsense. And by the way, those brand new rotors, they look grooved as heck, don't they? Mm, glaze? I'm going to break those things in with some sandpaper. Emery paper. All right, so there's that. I bet I need one of these, and I didn't get one. Told you. Front sway bar B. Moving on. We're going to go to something else. Nope. Yep. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Totally accident. <gasps> did I get the wrong thing? I did. Blasted. <laughs> That's what I get. That's what I get for running my jaw. That's what I get. All right, so let's take that apart. Go ahead and take you apart. <laughs> All right, while we're here, we're going to get a fuel tank. And then I'm going to end up forgetting that I need front shocks. Fuel. Boom. There's that. Shock. Anybody remember what? Where is it? Double wishbone front shock absorber, dummy, dum dum. That one is for front wheel drive cars, dum dum. Anybody remember what that sway bar was? <sighs> Send me a text. Okay, don't. Front sway bar B, me thinks. But me is going to go ahead and buy the other one just because. All right, let's get this out of here. Suck it up, Ryan. Suck my freaking name. All right. Double wishbone, install it, yes. Freaking drat. I wish that thing made a noise when it was done. Wouldn't that be neat? I'd like to hear a like a burger joint bell. Ding! Burger up. Burger up. Look at that. I didn't put the headlights in. Oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and start on this side. All those springs are finishing up because I am impatient. All right, rubber bushing. Boom. Turn the bolt. Not sure what that thing's actually threading into. Just into the rubber? That didn't make any sense. Maybe attached to something? Are they attaching to the frame? What's going on? Are there horse socks? Oh, guys, so here's the deal. Uh, I grew up in the 80s. Actually, born in the 70s. Show my age. Grew up in the 80s. Um, lived through the 90s. Because you don't remember a lot of your early single-digit years. And most of my references... I was in high school in the 90s. So, uh, most of my references... <laughs> uh, there's some modern pop culture stuff. But a lot of my stuff is straight up... 1990s humor. Billy Madison. Adam Sandler type. Um, Dennis Leary. Stupid. What's your favorite show? Post a comment. Let me know. Right now, I would say my favorite show that's airing currently is... It's either The Good Place or... Last Man on Earth. Last Man on Earth seems to be losing some steam. 
but you're not here to talk about that though and that shows pretty good though Michael Shore wrote um, and created the good place which is a funny show and he was one of the creators of the office of which I am a super fan so bonus thing you didn't know about me all right burns see how I'm popping back and forth like I'm on drugs left side right side could you imagine seeing a guy running back and forth underneath the car like that it'd be stupid all right upper a arm or suspension arm control arm I gotta go get that other stretch let's go do it let's get it well whoop I also need okay sorry I just got distracted by something shiny take it all right you know what we're gonna do is finish, finish this and then we're gonna get the Lorenzo because I want to set it down closer to the ground on the old um, lift with Domatic before I did I get it all 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 struts sway bar in link do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah, because I, I need to visualize here. Let me visualize. Can I? Just visualize. Such a sexy body. Such a nice car. Oh, man. The 70s. We're so cool. Okay, so. I like the torque thrusty type of look on these although it is dated I know it is I get it but things like this blingy bling bling that don't work for me these are all so similar just drives me batty um, like this five spoke could be kinda cool one all thing I also like ooh, that's kinda neat one thing I also like is um, stock wheels that have been made into gigantic conversions I, there's some you know like I rock wheels that are like 22s and 24s that's super cool if you look at this wheel right here it's like a Shelby Cobra wheel but that's what a knockoff looks like it's usually got a three bar thing or a two bar sometimes it's just a hex nut so that spins off the rim slides off and then there's a thing just a little thing that bolts to the wheel um, it's got the lugs and then it's just got a stem sticking out of the middle with threads on it you know I don't really know what to do here with these None of these wheels are just fitting for this car. So, this one's not bad. Nor is this. I'm trying to think. So, um, let's see on this. Let's just do it. Let's do it. All right, so two of them, we're going to do 24. Biggins. And we're going to make them a little bit sticking out. ET, I don't know what it stands for. We call it offset here in the States. I don't think this game was developed in the States. But ET is basically how far out off of the the hub flange it sits. $4,000. Good night. Uh, so you can make your wheels stick out. Now, this game doesn't have good physics as far as um, like clipping. So if you do too wide and too big, they'll clip into the car and look stupid. So that sucks. So those were going to be the rears. I'm going to do some 22s in the front. I'm going to do a... I don't know about the offset because it's so finicky. Let's try it. Let's just try that. All right, now tires. I like mega wide in the back. Boy, as wide as I can get. Race, standard, vintage, sport. I'm going to say this is a sport. 24s. Wide, wide, wide. But why do you go? The lower profile, you got to go as low as I can get. So 325 represents the width in millimeters. 20 represents the percentage of that width that is each individual sidewall height. So whatever 20% of 325 is, is how many millimeters tall this is. So to get the overall height, you take 20% of 325, this and this, so you multiply it by two because you got top and bottom, and then add the wheel size, diameter. That's how you calculate tire size, boys and girls. 
I hear a lot of off-road guys talking about how they got 285s on their truck. Well, that's only a width, buddy. That's not a 33. So, uh, that's good for you. You got 285 wides. A lot of them just don't get it. A lot of, a lot of bro-mobiles out there. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go with like a 265 on the front, maybe. 275. And I am going to make it a 30. That is still pretty forking wide in the front. Now, don't know if that's going to work. Never done it before. We're going to try. That is one of the 24s. And there is one of the 24s. Scaling on this, I don't think it's right. I don't think that is 24. Because when it's on the car, it don't look like no 24. Which is why I'm kind of getting carried away with exaggerated here. A little bit bigger than... I would normally, normally, I would probably go no bigger than a 22 on this car in in real life, or IRL, as the kids say. Um, yeah, these wheels don't really match the real world, I don't think. Because you can also, another thing you can do here is go down to 12s. And I think there's only a couple of three-cylinder cars that actually had 12-inch rims on them. Try to find some 12-inch tires. Good luck. Um, also, these go up to 25, which is another oddball size. Take, take, balance, 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 go. Man, if only I could slam this thing. It would be so sweet. That is too thick of a sidewall, I can tell right now. we got to change it. Not going to work. I'm going to pull it, balance it so I can see it, but it is not going to look right. I can already tell. Proportions, my friends. Go ahead and do it. All right, so we're going to throw a back wheel on this BI. So we can take a look-see, see how she looks. Uh, 325, 20, 24. Boom! Please don't clip out. Please don't clip out. Please don't clip out. Yes! That is dang near perfect. Ooh boy! Now, if I could tuck it, I'd suck it in and tuck it, slam it a little bit. That'd be even better. But man, that is sitting right. I love it. All right, now we gotta go get this other one. That's gonna look stupid. We're gonna try it, just in case. Frame rate's dropping. This game is a little bit not. Um, oops. Not super optimized, I don't think. Plus, my rig's not super fast, so um, if it's super bad, laggy, let me know. Um, I'll turn some of the settings down, or give me 800 bucks and I'll buy a better card. Why no? Why you no? Let me assemble. What is wrong? Part mount. Oh, there we go. 22. Man, I'm disappointed. I just spent so much money on these tires. I'm not going to use them. Well. Well, no. No, 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 no. Dang it. Not going to work. Oh, wait. Let me look at the width here. Let me look at the width. Let me see how the width works out. Oh, duck down. Duck. How do you duck? Oh, there it is. There it is. Width looks good. Nice width. Nice width. Rear width, even better. I like them thick, boys. I like them thick. Let's take this thing off. We'll get some smaller freaking tires. You know, it almost looked too small diameter. I'm tempted to go the 23, even though that's another odd size. I'm such a loyalist, man. I'm telling you. Keep it real. All right, sport tire. 22. What do we go? 245, 65. Let's go 265 because I really don't know. I'm going to leave it 20%, man. Nope. Yep. I guess I got to do that. 22, 265. Can't go to a 20. 25. I guess that's going to have to do. We'll just give it a whirl, man. Just give it a whirl. Separate 22. 
balance, nothing. V believe in nothing, Lebowski. Take it. Three mount. What we got? 275. 30, no, that's too big. 265, that's the one we're going to go with. Yes. Do it. Do it now. Profile's better. Definitely better profile. What color are we going to paint this thing, boys? Our boys and girls. Because the girls on here. What color are we going to do it? What did I just put on there? I think I just rebalanced the... I did. Stupid. <laughs> Whoops. Um... So we're going to ultra balance this 24 because I'm an idiot. And then we're going to balance this 22 this time. Click, click, click. Miss, miss, miss. Take it. Oh, that's spinning up. I'm going to go ahead and put this other 24 back here. Mount. Zibigan. Click, 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 click. And I'll tell you what, man, there are not many cars in this world that have bolts instead of nuts with studs for lugs. It's contrary. It must be easier mechanic to do or physics or something. I don't know. It is a contrary. Yeah, that looks good, man. I wish I could tuck those and slam this thing. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, I'm gonna do it the right way. So nobody bit, no. Nobody get uh triggered here. Triggered. Yeah, boy. That's nice. That's nice. Take it. That's nice. Come out. Ooh, missing the hub and the wheel and the bearing and everything. I gotta do that. How about that? How's about it? Let's move it to the old paint booth. Oh, let's see how she looks. You can see I'm pretty big. Oh, God. Smash me in the freaking wall. I'm a pretty big fan of, um, grr, of blue. But I feel like I do a lot of cars blue. Actually, you know what? That looks pretty stinking good. Pretty stinking good. I'm going to stick with red. It's going to be oversaturated a little bit so it looks more Lamborghini Ferrari red. I don't like that. I do like that. I think metallic is a good choice. Let's see what these are. They're probably crap. Garbage. Actually, that looks kind of cool. But I don't want racing. It's not a race car. Black, that's not bad. White, that's not bad. I think we're going to go with that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the old uh, rally, rally stripes, but I think it does something for it. I'm going to do it. Let's spray it. Nope. Okay, man, that is pretty dope. Pretty dope, if I do say so myself. You guys like it? Yeah or nay? If you don't, I don't care. Actually, tell me. I want to know. I want to know if my taste is stupid. Wait a minute. I know my taste isn't stupid. I want to know if my taste is common. How about that? Um, because, man, that's dope. Oh, love it. Love it! Symbol. Let's throw some headlights in this beat. Where are you guys from? Let me know down below. I'm not going to tell you where I'm from. Didn't work like that. Actually, it should. Actually, it does. I'll tell you where I'm from. Oh my, what am I doing? Let's put this mirror on the car that I didn't paint. Oh my god, that sucks. Oh, drat. Crap on a spatula. I'm probably just going to leave that, guys. Um, probably just going to leave it. Probably won't be able to. I don't think I'm going to be able to live with it. Um, so. Anyway, where are you from? It's not going to tell you where I'm from, but it's definitely Indiana. 
That's where I'm from. This is an old school plate. Let's call this thing. I don't know what to call this thing. Well, let's not go with the custom license plate. Let's just put some freaking regular numbers on it. How about that? Um, man, I can't believe I did that with that. Stupid Indiana license plate. All right, so part mount, assemble mode, whatever. Man, that's slow. Pop the old hood. Look at that mirror. Faded. Sun faded. Dang it. Normal. Empty. Man, that is like an empty canvas to an artist. Except we don't have a choice, so it's not really an art. It's not really art for us, is it? Okay, I think uh, this is where I'm going to end this video, man. We did some great cosmetics to this car, if I do say so myself. Uh, next video, if you tune in, I'll rebuild the engine. And... Um, We'll throw it in there. Maybe between now and then they will have done some crazy update that allows me to customize the engine. And we can put some, you know, stroker can uh, stroker crank and you know, bore it out, you know, maybe throw a supercharger on it, maybe. Some electronic fuel injection, multi port. Doubt it. Wishful thinking. Alright. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this, and um, I'll see you next time.